No, I like being pulled out on on the carpet. And you did the doubling, one two four eight sixteen thirty two, which was one two four eight sixteen five. Hmm. I just want to point out the perfection of it. That if you go backwards, a half of one is point five. A half a point five is point twenty five. Two plus five is seven. Hmm. Half a point twenty five is one point one twenty five, which equals eight. Half of that is point oh six two five, which is thirteen equals four. Half of that is point oh three one two five, hmm. which equals eleven, which equals two. In other words, it makes the same pattern, no matter what. And as long as we're on that track, the powers of ten have nothing to do with ten fingers. They come from halving. We don't have ten fingers because our thumbs are opposals. Each hand's a mirror. You can, they're, they're, they have parity, bilateral symmetry. As you half is where the powers of ten come from. Five, half of one is five tenths. Half of point twenty five is twenty five hundredths. Half of, and that's your seven. When you go to eight, half of point twenty five is point one twenty five, which is eight, and that's one hundred twenty five thousandths. Right. Half of point oh six point one twenty five is point oh six two five, which is a um, six hundred and twenty five ten thousandths. Right. Okay. So, the, so every I, time you have to increase the zero. Right. So the point is up and down the scale. Either way, you get the same phenomenon. And yeah. using this system, which I've just very um, loosely uh, laid out the foundation of together with you, I can create a three D hologram operating system that obsoletes Microsoft that obsoletes the NTXP operating system, I figured out that the binary code is not a flat 2D code, but is literally a hologram, and that's what the toroid is. It's the ultimate hologram. All right, let's um, take a breather, and we'll come back, and I want you to dig more into that because uh, I'm not clear. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, My pleasure. That's all right. We've got time to talk about it. Marco Roden. I love it. All right. Uh, this is Mike. You're listening to Radio Orbit. My guest is Marco Roden. As I've said a couple times, get on the web. Go over to his website. It will be very helpful if you can take a look at some of the imagery here. Uh, but it's not that complicated. It's, uh, it, it, I mean, the biggest number we're talking about here is nine. And we're going to come back and we're going to talk about three, six, and nine and the significance of those three numbers uh, on top of this... Uh, uh, one, two, four. All right, my guest uh, tonight is Marco Roden. Information about Marco can be found uh, directly through my site at MikeHagan.com or also at his own place at uh, Marco, I'm sorry, at uh, Roden Math, R O D I N M A T H dot com, and also Roden Aerodynamics dot org. All right, we have uh, had an hour with Marco and we've talked about a lot of things, uh, including. Uh, a number sequence, six root numbers that uh, we've learned that make up a binary code and that what we're learning actually, I guess, Marco, is that the binary code, which we thought was infinite, is not infinite. It's actually a closed cycle. It's a loop. And six numbers, six root numbers, basically make up that, uh, that loop. Is that correct? Um, there's a saying that Einstein supposedly said that if you look out in the universe far enough, you see the back of your head. That's right. Because everything curves, everything warps, everything eventually will invert when it gets to the center. And even the binary code is, um, it's, which is considered infinite. The definition of infinity by myself is not infinity of direction, but an infinity of duration. Mm. It's a, the binary code and infinity are the same, and it's an infinity of a spin continuum. Um, it, um, it actually is a closed circuit and that again, never breaks. Right, and this is the nature of a torus. This is the nature of a toroidal geometry. Which is the same shape for the universe, for our planet. It's how, the, it's how galaxies, it's how everything purifies, renews, and cleans itself. Yeah, and magnetic fields and all this. Even, even the magnetic fields that exist, exist around human bodies and other life forms. There you go. Right. Okay, so... Um, the, the, the classic human aura is in the shape, again, of a donut. Of a torus. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we also know that you've actually made some real-world samples of a coil that was based on specifications uh, that were sort of defined by the geometry uh, that came out of the sequence, and, and we know that those coils were tested by people at Hewlett Packard, that uh, the output was 50% greater than would have been 60%. expected, 60%. HP Materials Testing Division um, in Colorado 
gave me certified results. We sent them um, a rodent coil and a, a control standard coil, and they confirmed that using the same form with the same amount of copper that the rodent coil got 60% greater output. Amazing. Okay, so uh, we have this on top of uh, uh, endorsements from uh, people like Russell Blake, et cetera. There are others for sure. And um, All right, so we're going to go from there. Uh, we talked about this circle. Um, May I say something? Sure, please. The first half of my life, um, even to my own family, um, who loves me very much, um, the standard saying is, is you know, no one's going to discover anything new. <laughs> it's certainly not you. Right. Um, I've certainly been blessed that I could get my work evaluated by such... Um, impeccable people and certainly surprises me that they were so kind as to even put their own professional reputation and name on the line to endorse my work yeah I mean half the time it's impossible just to get someone to spend the time to look at it you know um, I've been very lucky I've never had a problem um, the doors have been open to me um, when you when you go to the people at the highest echelon they're very sincere to admit the limitations of their own uh, Western capabilities of, of understanding and knowledge. Mm -hmm. And the, in their heart, everybody wants to see the, um, the breakthroughs come forward, and, and they know it's going to take something uh, outrageous and from out of right field. Mm -hmm. So I've been, you know, but I, I have the guts, you know, I'll chase down the top people. So I've been very lucky.